So in the gene microvision, our first program for the A0511 microcontroller is to write an assembly language program to transfer 10 data bytes from 20H So this is a question. So we need to write a solution for so write an assembly language program transfer 10 data bytes from 20H location to 40H location in the internal RAM. So we need to write a program for this. So what should be the program? So let's start the program or the zero zero and uh, see uh, I need to point out one location using 28 another location using 48 so what i am going to do is i am going to use a pointer who are not comma hash 20h so my uh, source memory pointer i am going to use this as a source memory pointer and I am going to use another register R1 hash 40. This is my destination memory pointer. So only R0 and R1 I can use it here. Okay, not other than this R0 and R1. So now I need a uh, counter for this, so let's take R3 as a counter, hash 10 as a counter, so this is, so the count for the number would be So count for the numbers this is the count for the numbers to be transferred. So that is R. So 10 values I need to transfer. So once this is done, next is so I think uh, uh, we are done with all the prerequisites. So this is the initial step. So you need to uh, load the registers. And uh, this is a register addressing mode, yeah, sorry, the immediate addressing mode where I am loading a 20H value to R0 because I want this memory to be pointed by R0 and another is 40H is loaded immediately to R1 and again a memory to be pointed by R1. So I cannot use any other registers other than R0 and R1. I can't use R2 or I can't use R3 for this purpose. So if you are using for a memory indirect pointer then it has to be R0 and R1. So R3 is again I can choose anything in here for 10. This is just a loop counting uh, as a counter. So now let's begin with the actual code. So I need to take up the content from the location at R0. From 20H location I need to take and I need to load it to at R1. So this is an indirect way of loading. So read value from at R0. From sorry 20H. Onwards. Read value from 20H onwards and this is to store value in 20, 40H. 
So in one case I am going to read, another case I am going to store. So this is one value transfer. Then what you need to do is increment R0, increment R1. So I need to point to next location. So this is the point to next. This is this instruction will change the memory pointer to the next instruction. This R0 and R1 after increments. I am going to change the next location. So that next iteration it will start from 21 to A and uh, A to 41 like that. So every time this will so I need to repeat this loop pj nz r3 comma up I need to put it over here. So let's align this properly. So this is the actual code. So after this you can end the code. That's it. So this is the program solution for the programming. So, whenever a program is asked, you need to write it with the proper indentation, is a must actually. So, with the comments. So, all the comments you can is required and make sure that you are giving only the uh, logical comment. Don't give an instruction comment. So, this, this comment should be, you know, stored such that uh, it should give an idea what logic the program represent. Okay. See here I say R0 is hash 20. So R0 hash 20 is supposed to give your comment should what purpose you are serving as loading 20 to R0. That should be indicated. So you are taking 20 as a memory pointer. So that is the purpose. So we know that 20 is loaded to R0. So what is the purpose? That you supposed to give in the comment. Don't say R0 is loaded with 20. That doesn't make sense because we know that it is loading 20. For in your case, what is the purpose? That is important. You can still elaborate this much. Okay. So this is the basic program. So once you save this code, just add it to the source group here. Add it to the source group. Uh, you can select that file. This is ASM file. The name is uh, data. Yeah, it's here. So data added. So it's added there. So now this can be compiled. So I will compile this. So, so you will get here a zero error for warning. So that's done. So now I am going to debug this code. I am going to simulate this code. So go to the start stop debug session. I will move to the debug session. See here. Now let's see what and all there in the locations are not 20 and 40 I need to save something in the 20 so it's an internal data memory so i colon 0 x 20 I need to save something so I need to edit the value here so I will edit it as So these are the values, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 values I have saved it here. So these values are here in this uh, memory location. I need to execute. So let me check it what is there in 40H location. So 40H nothing is there. So according to the program, my 20H content will be loaded to 40H content. This is internal RAM 28. This is the value. These are the values. So these values will be loaded to 48. So let's run the code in a single 
step. I will show you how exactly this works. So let's go through here single step execution. See first is R0 is E here, 20 is coded. Next R1 is 40, then R3 is A, 0 A. Then the first content is taken to accumulator as you can see here. See accumulator becomes 10. Because at R0 10 is there, that 10 comes here. And this value will go to 40. That's gone. So we can check it here in this empty. This will make it 40. See here, this becomes 10. So one location is transferred. So I need to go to the next iteration. After incrementing these pointers, you see here the R0 and R1 will change. Now R0 and R1 becomes 21 and 41. Why? Because this is increment R0 and increment R1. So this is how the location changes. And this increment, now this instruction, if I run it straight away, so I can simply debug and I will run the entire code so that now you see the 40H location contains all the data which is copied from 20 to 40. So this is how these instructions are used to provide the program. Okay. So this is a simple data transfer instruction that I can demonstrate using see which are the instructions which I have used here is uh, we have used uh, some of the immediate instructions and uh, indirect instructions see here these are indirect data transfer instructions and I have used one simple arithmetic increment instruction and there is a one important thing DJNZ see what is the functionality of DJNZ instruction DJNZ instruction actually it decrements the R3 until it becomes 0 and it until it decrements 0 it will keep on looping to the location it is by. So R0 is initially 0 A, it decrements by 1, it is not 0 so it goes to the R. So this is how it decrements, it is how it works. Okay, this is a kind of a loop instruction. So these are all some details about the, the programming of a data transfer instruction. So, I think uh, we can move back to the editor window. So, now we are back into the editor window. So, this is the solution for a 10 data bytes to be loaded from 20 to 30. 